Hi folks, Paul Phillips here with GE Learning and Development. In this video, we're gonna show you how easy it is to do a retrofit from a GE to a GE product. Whether you're going from a 169, 269, 269 plus, or a 369 to our new 859, this process has been purposely designed to be a one-to-one -one replacement. As such, the Multilane 859 has the same rack cutout and depth as existing 169, 269, 269 plus, and 369 protection relays. So there's no need for complex wiring, drawing changes, or door modifications. Upgrading to the 859 can be accomplished by following a few easy steps that we'll walk you through in this video. First, we'll update the settings file using our InnoVista 8 series software. Second, when upgrading a 369 to an 859, there's no need to disconnect RTD wiring, digital inputs, and communication ports on your 369. Only the terminal box will require removal. For the relay outputs and CTVT inputs of the 369, 269, and 269 Plus, these wires will need to be removed. Third, once step two is completed, we can now mount the new 859 protection relay in our rack plug in the RTD and digital input and communication port terminals of the 369 into the 859 relay and reconnect the relay's outputs and CTVT wires. If you're upgrading from a 269 or a 269 plus, it'll be necessary to remove and reinstall all the wires to complete the upgrade. So now that we've outlined how this upgrade is going to work, let's move over to our rack so our instructor can walk you through the process step by step. Now we have one 369 relay on the mounting rack. We're going to replace this with one 859 relay. So there'll be three steps. The first one is to do the setting file conversion from 369 into 859. This can be done automatically in the 8 series and Vista software. For the setting files of the 269 Plus, you need to manually convert them into 859. So now let's power down this relay and remove the wiring from the back. To remove the wiring from the 369, we need to remove the top wiring for the relay outputs and the bottom CTVT inputs, and then unplug the terminal blocks for the RTDs. For these terminal blocks, we can just unplug them without rewiring the the wire on the terminals. And on the left side, we have this uh, digital inputs and the communication uh, ports. So this can be just directly unplugged and later we can plug into the 859. And now for the uh, uh, CTVT inputs of bottom, we can just uh, use a screwdriver to manually remove them, the screws. So now we move the, the top and the bottom wiring and unplug that the terminal blocks on the right, we're going to remove these uh, mounting screws on the panel. Now the four mounting screws are removed. We can gently remove these uh, three six nut relays from the rack and replace this with one 859 new relay. So this is the one 859 we're going to put in the rack with the same cutout. And the first is to put on the mounting screws. Once we put the screws back on the mounting rack, we're going to rewiring the relay. And uh, first I'm going to wire the bottom CTVT inputs, then the top output relays and the control power, then plug into the RTD terminals and the digital inputs, communication port and analog outputs. So first I'm going to put in this uh, A 
Okay, now I finished the rewiring of the CTVT at the bottom and the output relay and the control power on the top. I'm going to plug in the terminal blocks. First, I'm going to plug in that the RTD terminal blocks. And then the digital inputs. The communications and analog outputs. Okay, so now this uh, whole rewiring finished. And this process also applies to the 269 plus. You just need to rewiring everything. And uh, also pay attention to that the 269 that the ground CT has no one amp input. So now we can power up this uh, rack. So now the whole rewiring of the 859 is done. So now I'm going to apply the power to the relay and see this uh, relay is powering up. After the relay boot up, we can load the converted 369 setting file into 859 and put the relay in service. We can see that the two lines LCD display in 369 now is replaced with a big LCD screen with a single line diagram and parameters.